In this video, we're going to take a look at using the automatic truss tool. We're going to cover the process by first looking at the build roof settings and how to define the roof to support trusses. And then we'll go through the truss framing itself and then also a setting for end walls for either gable wall framing or end trusses. And then just briefly discuss how to manually adjust trusses as they're needed. Let's begin the process by going into the Build Roof dialog. I'm going to turn on the Automatic Rebuild Roofs option. In the framing area, there is a specific option for trusses. Then a heel height setting that you can define. That will give you some dimensions. When you build your roof, be sure that you make the setting for roof trusses and your heel height. Otherwise, your roof envelope will be optimized for rafters and won't be supportive for your trusses. Let's build our roof and then let's move into the build framing dialog. On the roof panel itself I'll turn on the automatic build framing and most of these settings are also in the build roof dialog. You'll want to make sure you pay attention to those and then there's a specific panel available for trusses. You can define the cord information, you can have options for king post and energy heel. So all those settings can then generate the roof framing that you see here in the 2D view. And then as I switch over and specifically look at the framing that was created, you can see all of the roof trusses were created automatically in this example. Now for end walls, there is a setting to either have your framing to be end wall from the gable or end trusses. On the roof panel for this wall, Notice there is a setting to include automatic end truss above. In this case, the framing will take place by the end truss itself, generating an end truss with vertical framing. The program does a great job of generating the automatic trusses. Chances are, if you're drawing a few trusses or modifying the trusses, working with your structural engineer with trusses, the automatic truss tool is going to lay out all the trusses for your design. That can be a very efficient way and then modify them as you need to. You can resize them, you can change the envelope. To learn more about how those trusses work, please refer to the built-in help file as well as our other framing videos. Thanks for watching.